In this episode, I'm going to show you how I did my custom rub rail setup. So stay tuned. Now, I already have it set up uh, and I found my center point, but what you want to do is lay it all out completely and uh, find your center point uh, on the rubber rail itself. You'll want that to be in the middle so you can be sure that it goes uh, the full length for you. So here uh, is, it's a diffuser channel for an LED strip uh, and I'm going to be putting uh, a actual COB LED strip uh, through this for the side lights and then uh, just a couple uh, narrow LED strips uh, up front for the nav lights. But this is what I'm going to use for my insert into the rub rail. So I didn't like how the insert sat in the channel, how bright the LED strips were, the smaller ones. So I went to a double row uh, high output LED strip uh, instead. So far I've got the red side in. I just have that insert in for the moment um, on that side. But I got the red strip up front. And then you can see where it breaks and we got the green strip for the side lights running all the way through. I'm about to work on the insert, get it put in place, at least on this side, and then we'll get started on the other. And here's a look at it with the completed insert. You can see it actually sticks out past, but that is a diffuser strip instead of the 
uh, regular blank insert. So that way my lights can actually shine through. So I got the entire port side lined. I have it cut off right here. I'm gonna be putting a base in, uh, the end cap, the original end cap. Uh, it will stick out a little further, so I had to drill a new hole, but. I have the rear deck pulled out right now. So I can get back here. And that wire hanging down right there, those are the ones that gotta connect up to right there where I got the wires coming out for the uh, side lights. And I gotta connect that up on both sides too. So I got the first side light hooked up. There's a, with it off right now. And here's with it on. Still plenty of daylight outside, so it's not real dark in here either, especially with my lights. But I have this wrapping around the corner all the way to there and i still got to put the end caps on but i'll worry about that later and the other side light here is hooked up as well so both of these turn on when i hit that switch i now have the nav lights wired up that wire right there is the ones going out to it in the front and then here's a look at them from outside the boat. Right there. A lot brighter than the other LED strips I was gonna use. So yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna have a problem seeing what direction I'm going. So all I have left to do is just the end caps. Uh, I have new screws coming for those. Uh, so they can work with the new rub rail. Uh, which is a little thicker than the old one but this is going to wrap it up for this video i uh, do hope you enjoyed it so if you like this video make sure to hit that like button uh, if you're not a subscriber uh, hit that subscribe button as well uh, that way you get notifications about my future videos and my next one's going to be uh, the timing and adjustment on the outboard and then i also had to do a lower unit rebuild as well so i'm gonna have another video on that uh hopefully i'll be able to get this out on the water soon but until next time i'll see you